Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel. I don't know what day of the week or when I'm gonna upload this, but I'm pre-filming a lot of stuff today because I actually have time. Um, so if you see me in this shirt, which is spoiler for one of my videos, um, that is why. But today is video I've decided is going to be the video where I go over boxes I'm done with that I that are on the chopping block that I keep giving chances and I'm just done and I need to cancel and um, I will show you why uh, so I can make room for different purchases or things that we can go over because I feel like I'm just getting either boring stuff or the value is not there or there's one reason or another these are my boxes there's three companies I'm just kind of done with and let's start with the first one that I have been done with for a while and I just keep forgetting to cancel and that is Sephora Play. Now this is my October box. I don't know where my December box or my November box is. I haven't even opened it. That's how done I am with this box. I may not even show you guys November unless it's just really good. So it is 15, is it 15, 10? It's $10 a month. It's still one of the cheaper ones. And it's all samples. And I used to like it because you get some higher end samples, but I feel recently it's just kind of been the same repeats. It's just getting boring. So this is what we're getting in here. This is the joy of complexion. And when it started going downhill for me is when they switched from the bags that were cloth to these little recyclable bags, which I use in my giveaways to wrap stuff up for you guys. But in general, I just feel like it was a chintzy move and just weird. They don't actually seal the bags. I don't really understand the purpose of the bags, but they do have them. So let's just dive right in and go through this. So the first thing that they sent us is the Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I have not tried this. It's Tarte, it's a nice brand. Um, and this is supposed to be exclusive and chosen for your skin tone. So this one is supposed to be fair, light, neutral. Um, we'll see. I tend to be uh, fair, very fair. This is, my color's a little skewed on this video because my lighting's a little off. I think going to be a little bit dark for my skin tone. But we'll try a little bit. So it is in a glass bottle and it's a little dropper. And don't mind, I've taped some other videos so my hand has other makeup that I just kind of quickly wiped off. So that is what it looks like. Um, I'm not a big foundation person. That's the color. It's, uh, let's see. It's definitely a little dark for me. Maybe, maybe just a touch too dark. Not horrible. Um, it's kind of got that dewy feel. That's not bad, actually, looking at this. It's definitely light coverage, which for me is a, is what I would go for. So I actually like these little sample bottles of foundation because I just don't use foundation that often. So as we're talking, I'll let that sit and see what I think. All right, next item here is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This is another, uh, this is a full coverage foundation in the color alabaster. Now that actually might be a little too light. Let's see. And I'm going to put that on my forearm here. Oh yeah, this is like really light. So the other one was, uh, I was knocking it, but it wasn't too bad. This is how light this one is. This is more of a color I would pick for my concealer. That's a little too light for my skin tone here, even on my pale arm. This is more like a concealer color for me. So a little too light there. Um, and a little bit too full coverage for my taste. All right, so this is supposed to be a 24 hour velvet matte one. I can tell you I'm not gonna like that, but that's okay. All right, next thing here is the uh, Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer by Smashbox. I feel like I've gotten this before. This is not a bad primer. It's mostly silicone based, dimethicone and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so now we have the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. I've tried this in their matte formula, which I didn't love. Let's see which one this is. Okay, so this is a cute little bottle. It's plastic. Let me see which one we got. 
Okay, it's, the spray is awful. It, you guys probably can't appreciate, but it's left like all these little dots on my hand. Um, not a fan of that, but that's okay. So this is the alcohol-free setting spray. I don't think this is the matte one. Okay, it's okay. We'll play with that bit more. All right, next thing here is the Bounce Liquid Whip uh, Long Wear Foundation. Okay, so here's a good example. So the first few samples actually were kind of good. Like those are things I haven't really gotten from them before. And I think the theme is interesting. Um, but this is, um, well, I don't even want to break this open right now because to, to show you guys, I think, well, it'll mess it up, but this is like a foundation sample and it's the beauty blender one, which everyone raves about, but I'm afraid if I try to use this, it's a one time only dispenser. So I don't know. It says use a brush or beauty sponge or fingertips to apply one or two pumps to the center of the face and work it outwards. So I don't know how this works. I don't, I, I'm a little afraid to try this out right now. So I'm not gonna open this until I really wanna try it out. Cause I'm a little afraid it says flip open cap, push down to release formula, balance damp beauty blender directly on the surface, and then apply to skin. So I think this is a one time only use packaging. So I, well, maybe it won't. Oh, it's not. Okay, that's not bad. Look at that. Okay, I was gonna gripe about this, but this is not a white one time use applicator. It just looks like it. Okay, let's do right below my arm here. Whoa. <laughs> So the other one was too light and this is entirely too dark. Uh, well, not really, maybe not. That is very interesting. I think out of all of these, the uh, Tarte one was the best match. I think the Beauty Blender one is, well, it's not bad. Let's try this again a little bit more. I don't know much about foundation. I'm like a horrible person to come to for foundation ideas because I just, don't use foundation. Okay, so this is on my hand here. Um, yeah, this is probably not quite the right color. It's not horrible. I'm not loving this, how it's spreading so far. So this one was the Rainforest of the Sea. I thought that did really nicely, kind of dewy. This one looks kind of patchy on my hand. Granted, it's my hand. This one actually spread and did pretty nice. It's a little light and it's real matte, so I don't think that's gonna look good on my face because it'll accentuate my wrinkles, and I think that one is as well. Okay, and then they always throw in some sort of um, like bonus thing. So this is the Moroccan Oil Night Body Serum Firm and Smooth. This is really kind of interesting, actually. So this is what it looks like. Basically, it is a oil that you're supposed to use only one after one week of use, I eight out of 10 noticed firmer and smoother skin. Maybe I'll try this like on my neck or someplace I want to firm up a little bit. So, okay, I say I'm done with this box, but this was actually not a bad box. See, if they were innovative like this and didn't put repeats in every single one, I'd be more excited. I'll get back with you guys. I think it's worthwhile to see what November's like, but this wasn't bad. This actually wasn't bad. As much as I gripe about this box, I thought this was actually kind of a cool and innovative idea. And they did actually match my skin tone pretty good. Amazing, this is like the first time ever. <laughs> okay, next box that I am kind of done with and I used to love is the Allure Beauty Box. And let me see if I can get this open. Cause again, I, um, if I can get this open, I basically, uh, sorry guys, I'm trying to open this. I, I got last month's and I opened it up, but this one I just got in the mail today and this is November. So let's start with October. So recently they changed up the box and they I don't think they told us anything about it. They just changed it up. It was like very just like, eh, we're gonna do this, no explanation. So they went from these amazing boxes with these really cool little like holders and then I don't know, it felt like they become like a Target box, which don't get me wrong, I like Target box, but that's not what I expect from a Lear booty box. So they changed the packaging on the outside. It used to come in like this little fold up box, kind of closer to what the Sephora Play was. And, it, and then they had a little thing on the inside. They changed it to this little tiny boxes. It's still $15. 
And then they, they added these little thing. Like I said, it feels like a, like a Walmart or a Target box now. So in here, they have a $20 off, um, which goes through the first for a jewelry company called Georgiana for the Allure 20. Never heard of that brand. Okay, and this is what the box looks like. And, and as I go through it, you'll kind of understand why I feel like this is more like a Target box. Like what Target boxes used to be when I liked them and still got them. Um, it's not bad, but it's just like there's something definitely missing. Now I am missing, and I don't know what I did with it, the little handout for this box, so I'm not gonna be able to get into the prices on this one. But let's just start first with this. This is the Model & Company Metallic Eyeshadow Trio. I have another one of these that came in my glossy box. And Model & Company's okay. Like, I don't love their products, but I don't absolutely hate them. And this one, I have the one in like plums color. This one is in browns, and I don't know, it's beautiful. And the one I have in plums isn't bad. I just don't know if I'm gonna keep this. I may give this away, cause I have so many of this shade already. And I just, I don't know. I feel like the trios are kind of overrated. These are all shimmers. So that is this. The next thing here is the Model & Company Eye Lights Metallic Eyeshadow. So um, I don't have this by them. And I was all excited and then I got, <laughs> I got this one, which for October is kind of cool, but I didn't use it for October. It is a black color. Ooh, my hand's starting to tingle a little bit on this. I wonder if that's the, uh, the, uh, I can't talk today, guys. The, uh, the, all right, I can't talk. If it is the foundation, no. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my hand here. That is really pretty. I don't know how much I will use this but it's really pretty. It has like a, it's a black with kind of a shimmer. I'm gonna keep this around and play with it. I think it's great for Halloween. Uh, it's not Halloween anymore, so I am, I'm gonna have to think about how I'm gonna use this. All right, next thing here is the Power Glow Peel by M61 Powerful Skin. I don't know this brand. This has one minute, one step exfoliating facial peel. It has glycolic acid, salicylic acid, uh, vitamin K, bilberry, and chamomile, and there are three treatments in here. Um, I do like peels, I think they're fun. And so these are the little peel pads, and basically you rub these on your faces, faces, your face. Um, I will try these out and get back with you guys. I do enjoy these kind of things. All right, next thing here has been in a Target box, so I just think this is weird. This is the Bosch & Lomb Lumify, the, basically they're redness relieving eye drops. Basically, they have a, com a, a product in here called bromidine tartrate that causes your vessels in your eyes to constrict, which makes your eyes look less red because you have all these little vessels on your cornea, or not your, yeah, your cornea, which is the, the basically the outer part of your eye, the white part, and when you put this on there, it or your conjunctiva, not your cornea. Man, I am losing it tonight. Your conjunctiva, that's the white part. It causes it to constrict. Now, once or twice using this is not bad, but you don't wanna use this continually because when you stop using it, you get a rebound effect and your eyes will look like the dawn of the dead. So, um, but we got this in a Target box. So that's all I can say about that. Okay, next item here is the Eyes Ceramide Moisturizing Cream by Sunday Riley. This is itty bitty, itty, itty bitty. I mean, it's not bad. It smells like Play-Doh. You can see it's kind of cracked here. Let's just play with it. I like these kind of things for when I travel so I don't have to bring my nicer creams. Um, it's a nice thick cream. It really smells like Play-Doh. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I'll play with this and see, but this is basically would take me on a week of vacation and that's about it. All right, next thing we have here is a Brazilian Bum Bum sample size cream. I don't think I've even gotten one this teeny tiny before, this is itty bitty. Um, I love Bum Bum Cream, so I'm not gonna complain anytime I get it. And it is sealed, so I'm gonna leave it sealed. This stuff smells great. I have uh, two of the things I'm working on right now. And then the last thing here, again, I would expect in uh, like a Target box, I'm not upset about it, but it is just kind of weird, is the Mineral Bath Salt Dream Away Valerian and Hops Essential Oils. Um, so this'll maybe get you one or two baths I'll use it, but 
I just don't know. I, I feel I'm very like let down by this box. Like some of it's good and some of it's kind of eh. Okay, so let's move on. This is going to probably be a lengthy video the rate I'm going, but that's okay. So let's get into this month. I actually haven't looked at this. I don't know what we're getting. This is what the ham pamphlets usually look like. And again, they don't have, so, and I don't have one to show you guys. Do you see how these clear plastic things to hold the products? And they don't have it anymore. So I actually liked those. They were great for like pencil holders and stuff. Some people didn't like them. All right, so this is what it looks like. This looks a little better, but I'm already seeing brands in here that are Target brands. Okay, oh, this is kind of cool. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, I feel like this was the one that they duped for uh, the Tatcha, and I'll have to dupe these together. I did buy a sample of the Tatcha, and I can't remember if people had good reviews for this or if people had some breakout issues. I'll have to go back and watch the videos on this. I'm just gonna tear this box here, but this looks like a nice size one. This is in the color Universal Sheer. Yeah, this, this feels like, oh yeah, a dupe for the uh, Tatcha one. So that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna put it down on my arm. Doesn't have much of a smell. So that's actually really cool. Okay, so I don't think this thing's worth very much. It's like $8, but it's still kind of cool that they gave us to us. Um, yeah, and then they have, if you use the code Allure Gift, you can receive a free, free rose gold eyeshadow palette if you spend $20. So that's the first thing. Next thing here is the Vichy Clarifying Charcoal Mask. I do like Vichy, they're a good brand, but you can buy them at Target. Um, and I don't think I've gotten this one yet, but this, they always have these beautiful glass bottles. Um, this is just a little mask. This may maybe get me one or two applications. It smells good. It smells like Vichy products. Um, so I am excited about this. Let's see the price on this bad boy. This one is, uh, I think a full size of one of these is $20. This is definitely not $20 for the little one. All right, next item here is the Rainforest of Seas Color Splash Lipstick. Now, I do think this is a nice one in here, and they don't, yeah, they don't, oh, here it is. This is a $21 thing. So this is Berry Mojito. This is probably a little dark for my taste, um, but I do like the Color Splash. Now, I have to say, in other $10 or $15 boxes, we've always gotten the little sample size ones. This is actually a full size one. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. This is beautiful. I love the formulation. This is really dark. I'm gonna think on this one. But this is this is this is actually nice. Like it's an interesting mix of high-end and drugstore brands in here. Okay, next thing here is that's Incredipeel, the spa strengthening glycolic surface pads. There are five in here. Bliss is another brand that is at like Ulta and Target. It's a good brand. It's not very expensive, but there's five peels in here. And this one is uh, for a box of 15, 19.99. So this is like a $5 box. All right, next thing here is the Freeze 24-7 Anti-Aging Eye Serum. I'm not gonna open this because I am curious. Holy moly. So a full-size one of these is $115. That's for a 15-gram sample or half a fluid ounce or half a, I think it's half a mil. This is like 0.25 fluid, 0.23 fluid ounce. So this is a lot smaller. But um, ice, ice stuff like this lasts me a long time. So this is supposed to help reduce puffiness, fine lines, dark circles, and other signs. I'm totally game for trying that. I've never heard of this. This is Freeze 24-7 Anti-Aging Eye Serum. And yeah, we'll give that one a try. Okay, and the last thing here is the Curology Wavy More Than a Cleanser. So let's see what this one is. This one is... Uh, it's a cleanser and custom treatment cream moisturizer. I've heard of Curology. Oh, I know where Curology comes from. You hear all these like Facebook ads and um, Instagram ads and ads on YouTube about the custom made skin stuff. Yeah, Curology. So anyway, I don't know because this is not custom made for us how this is, but this is the uh, clean sweep cleanser. So I'll try this. I mean, people swear by this brand, so we'll see. I like it. Okay, so 
that wasn't half bad. The first one was really disappointing. This one's actually kind of good. I'll give it another month. We'll give it one more month and see. I, you know, I thought this box was pretty good for 15 bucks. Okay, let's get into glossy box. And um, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time in glossy box just because I've been really disappointed with glossy box. It's 20 or it's like 19 something, $20. It's right in that range. It used to be what BoxyCharm was before they recently upped it. Um, and I get it for like 18 or $19 because I get it in a three month subscription. The problem is, is if I forget, then it keeps going and then I, I really feel like an idiot. The problem I have with them is they tend to use the same thing over and over and over and over again. And so I feel like we're getting repeats and a lot of sample sizes for a box that, you know, for the same price, you're getting a lot nicer stuff with BoxyCharm. Um, anyway, so this is what the looks like for the month. So let's start first off. This is the 417 Time Control Firming Radiant Mud Mask. I do not know this brand. This brand, let's see, um, is uh, apparently this is full size. This is 20 mils. And they're saying this is $39. I don't, I just don't think that this is $39. I also think they inflate prices on stuff. Um, so this is made in Israel and I don't have much else about it. So it is mineral oil free and paraben free. And yeah, we'll, we'll try it. I don't, I don't know much about it. All right, here is something that is kind of one of my pet peeves. You know, I don't dislike this brand, but I literally have gotten this brand three times in a year and a half, the same size. And the first time I got it, it was like a travel box. And I was like, oh, it's a travel theme. And the next time I got it, I forget why. I've gotten different iterations and smells, but this is the John Masters. They're, um, oh, this is, this is a little different. Okay, take this back. I've gotten their, their hair wash twice the, and conditioner. This is the body wash and body milk. I actually would have rather gotten the hair and the, that, but body wash and that. So they're like travel sizes. The body milk's actually a pretty good size, but the body wash is definitely travel size. And these are 60 mils each, which they say are full size. They're now claiming stuff that's sample size is full size. And they say that these are $48 together. They're not $48. All right, next brand that we see a lot in here is Bella Pierre. And this is the uh, Pro Concealer Palette. I have another one of their concealer palettes. I do not think I have this one. And I got another one of their concealer palettes. I think it was in a different box. But this is what it looks like. This one actually kind of looks like it'd be useful. More from the pink shade for under the eye. And this shade here looks like it would be a good one. I probably wouldn't use the green very much, although green is for to cover up red. So this is one of the first concealer palettes I actually think I might use. Yeah, this isn't half bad. So I am actually excited about a Bella Pierre product for once in my life. <laughs> All right, next thing is the Isla Mask Hydravel Hydrating Gel. And I think I got this in, I'm almost positive I got this in one of my recent, um, the full size one in one of my recent uh, Ipsy's. So um, I'm not gonna open this because in case I do, I'll just show you the packaging here. Um, in case I get the full size, I will put this in a giveaway. Um, the brand I, I've had decent luck with, they're saying this is full size for seven millimeters. I know, I know this is not full size because I know I've gotten this one before. Um, so they're saying this is $35. Oh, I really, 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 let me look. Cause I'm pretty sure I have gotten, yes, 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 yes. Okay guys, I call bowl on this. Okay, this is, this is uh, whenever I do my Ipsy unboxing, which will probably be after this video. This is the full size one. This is the one I got in one of my Ipsy's and let's see what they say the full size price is and we'll see if if they're, uh, they're pulling our leg here. So the full size of this is $45, and this is for 30 mils. Okay, so remember that, 30 mils for a full size one that I got in my BoxyCharm, and they're trying to say this 70 mil, seven mil one is $35. This is why I have a problem with Glossy Box right here. That is a blatant lie. There's no way that they're charging for a 30 mil one $10 more than a seven mil one. Just, I, don't, I just don't believe it. All right, final thing here is the Face Grimage Micro Polishing Exfoliating 
Truffle Face Mask by Skin & Co. These, I've gotten this brand in a bunch of different boxes and I think I may or may not have this. If I do, I'll put this in a giveaway. But this one they're also saying is full size, which is, again, is not. Um, and they're saying it's $28, which I also feel like is an exorbitantly high. So, okay. So you can see my problem. I don't really think anything but the Bella Pierre palette is actually full size in this box. I'm pretty sure they overinflated the price of the, the uh, face primer thing. So that's, that's irritating. All right, here's our November box, um, which is supposed to be special. And I got version, did they even say what version anymore? There's no version. I got version nothing. The first one was version one, by the way, of the, the box we just went over. All right, let's go over this bad boy. So um, I noticed a lot of people unboxed this and they said there was no handout in there. They emailed it, which I think is kind of a cop out. They were trying to be conscientious to the earth, but really, I don't know. They do have a, a HelloFresh gift card and then they have a Naked Wines gift card. Their box is really beautiful. I do have to say that the box is beautiful. Although compared to some of their other boxes, this doesn't feel as heavy duty. Like usually their boxes feel a little more heavy duty than this. This one feels a little bit flimsier. And then whoever put this together was probably half drunk. I mean, it it's ripped, the bow's to the side. I literally just opened this thing. Um, so I don't know what's going on with it. Oh yeah, I'm so done with this box. All right guys. This is the first thing in here. I'm gonna email them about this because I was actually, when I was looking at the reviews, I was excited about this. This is the uh, Style London Velvet Touch and this just got smash rude. Um, I'll email them. They've been pretty good in the past about uh, replacing these things for me. Um, we'll see if they are this time. I was so excited. I saw uh, Just Ann unboxing this and this, I actually like this brand. I got one of their mini ones. And that's such a pretty shade and it is completely demolished. So I'm not gonna open that right now cause yeah, uh, it's all over my box, like all over. Like that's the color right there. All right, here we have, this is Mystic Black Novex Deep Hair Mask. Okay, that's kind of cool. We'll try that out. I don't know how much this is worth. We have the Ardell Wispies Fiber Building Mascara. So this is a mascara that has um, fibers. <laughs> okay, we have the Lord and Belly Berry uh, Crayon and in Intimacy. I feel like I've gotten this one before. It's pretty. And then the last thing we have here, which also looks like it just has been through the ringer. Let me grab this the paper here. Gosh, I'm so disappointed in that. I mean, I know they are not at fault for the box looking like, like that breaking. I'm pretty sure my mailman probably did that. But I also feel like they just kind of haphazardly threw things in here too. Um, this is the Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Pill. I have had some other three Real Chemistry stuff. I'm kind of on the fence on it. And there is half my eyeshadow on the bottom of that box. So, anywho, that is all of it. Um, I am really actually quite done with, with um, Glossy Box. That makes me sad that the one thing I was excited about this month is just totally destroyed. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you feeling the same way I am about these boxes? Are you uh, thinking that I should give some of them an extra chance? I'd like to hear your thoughts about all of this um, and all of that. So anyway, guys, see you later. I will talk to you later. Bye.